So a question that I receive often from you has been, well, how do I declutter my mental clutter? Or how do I declutter my emotional clutter, right? And the answer to this isn't as straightforward or as simple as it may seem or as we would like for it to be, right? Because honestly, there's so much that's unseen when it comes to our mental and emotional clutter. It's almost like an iceberg or a tree, right? And that small piece that we see above ground is that mental or emotional weight that we feel, that clutter, right? But the reality is that it spreads and branches out so much further below ground than just that piece that we see above ground and tend to focus all of our attention on. And when we start to realize that this is a little more difficult to navigate than just giving a bag of old clothes a goodwill, that's when we start to wonder about these questions. Well, how do I declutter my mental clutter or how do I declutter my emotional clutter? And I have a simple tactic that I believe will help make getting started down this part of your journey a little more manageable. See, this really tunes into the poetry and writing side of me because the tactic that I want to share with you is writing. And no, I'm not trying to persuade you to become a poet or write poetry like I do but I am asking you to write down everything that you feel in this moment that you feel is clouding your mind mentally and emotionally. And it's not going to be easy, but I want you to try. See, the reason I'm asking you to write all of this down is because it takes that mental and emotional weight that you feel that you can't see, right? Remember, it's like a tree or an iceberg. All you see is the piece that's above ground, right? So it takes everything that's invisible and makes it visible or physical, right? And we all know that our physical clutter is the easiest type of clutter to deal with. And I hope you're starting to see where this is heading. Now, let me explain. See, when you write down what you feel or how you feel in any given moment, right? That paragraph, that page, or that poem now becomes your checklist of things to declutter. Remember, your mental and emotional clutter are things that you can't see. They're just feelings and thoughts, right? But when you write them down, they become things that you, that you can see. They become physical. And as you start to work your way through that checklist and declutter those items and find a groove that works best for you, that's when you start to really make progress on this part of your journey. And the goal is to never allow any of those things back into your mind and back into your heart. The page is where it'll stay. That page or that notebook is its, is its home now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you get a thumbs up for me. If it's your first time tuning in, you wanna join this community, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And always remember to stay true to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.